Hey guys, Dr. Berg here. In this video, we're going to talk about how to get rid of puffy eyes and those bags beneath the eyes, okay? Now, I'm just going to let you know the cucumber slices don't really work long term or creams and everything. This is all an internal problem. It's mainly a kidney problem. Now, I can see people uh, across the street and look at their eyes and they're all puffy and I'm like, oh, that's a kidney issue. Now, anytime you have a kidney issue, you're going to have a liver issue. So they're almost similar in uh, problems. You can't have a really sick kidney and a healthy liver, okay, because they both work together. But the kidney is a um, detoxifier. It basically takes all your blood. It's a filter. It's like an oil filter, and it filters the blood. So um, here's what happens with the kidney. Number one, you can be consuming excess cooked protein, too much protein. So let's say you're sitting down for dinner and you're just loading up this huge, huge plate of chicken wings or chicken fingers, and you have absolutely no vegetables, nothing to counter that, you're just getting a lot of protein. That's going to eventually turn into uric acid crystals and a lot of excess of waste because your body can't process more than a certain amount of protein, so anything extra, you're, you're, it strains the kidneys and the liver, okay? So protein can mess it up in large amounts. How much protein do you need? three to six ounces. That's just a little bit. You don't need tremendous amounts. So excessive protein and too little vegetable. People that have the bags, have the kidney problems, usually don't ever eat vegetables, okay? They don't. You need to start doing that if you have this problem um, because this also relates to the potassium levels in the body. You have so much potassium and so much sodium, they work together. And fluid retention usually is a sodium excess. Well, if you just have your normal potassium amounts, that alone will flush out the sodium and get rid of the fluid. So we need four times as much potassium to sodium. So a lot of people have it reversed. They're doing four times as much sodium to potassium and they're just like fluid water log. And you can see it in the ankles, there's pitting edema. Uh, but this situation, it's really um, the vegetable has most of the potassium uh, and then you're not going to get a lot of potassium from proteins. So then we have alcohol, right? So um, alcohol messes with your kidney, it messes with your liver, it creates the bags. Um, a lot of people think it's normal to drink alcohol on a regular basis. They drink a bottle of wine, two bottles of wine, and they think, well, that's fine. Well, here's the question. Can you give it up? If you can't give it up, then you're probably addicted. Um, okay, so then we have the MSG. Monosodium glutamate. Monosodium glutamate is a flavor enhancer. It's in all the Chinese restaurants uh, and they hide it not as mon monosodium glutamate, they hide it as modified food starch. And what it's a lot of sodium that's not salty. So you're going to walk away and just drink fluid and you're just like going to fill up with fluid really fast. So it's a water retainer and it's a flavor enhancer. It also spikes insulin too. Uh, and then we have just straight sugar and junk food that's going to mess with your kidneys. So we need 4,700 milligrams of potassium. That would be 7 to 10 cups of vegetables. Uh, a lot of times people say, well, I don't want to have much potassium because I heard that uh, it might damage the kidneys. <laughs> let, me, let me just give you the truth on the kidney. Unless you're on kidney dialysis, unless you're stage like a, a real bad kidney where you're like end stage kidney failure, um, Everything else, you can do potassium. In fact, it's shown that potassium protects the kidney. It doesn't worsen the kidney. You need potassium to protect the kidney. It's just that when the ki kidney is so damaged, you can't process potassium and it starts to increase because you're not getting rid of it. See, you need so much potassium, but your body gets rid of that much potassium every day too. So if the kidneys can't do that, you could end up with a lot of potassium, which is dangerous to the heart. But again, for those of you that are in kidney dialysis, okay, you can't do the potassium. But the cool thing is we're not even talking about taking it in a supplement. We're just taking, it, getting it from vegetables. So you're going to be more safe with that. Um, then you have another cause of kidney problems, which would be the prostate enlargement. What happens, the prostate, when it enlarges, it actually pushes up into the bladder, okay? It pushes up in the bladder and it restricts the amount of urine the bladder can hold. And then the, the urine backs up through these two little uh, pipes. They're called um, the ureters, okay? And they go right to the kidney. And then what happens, the kidneys can't filter the urine. 
So it backs up and the kidneys start getting larger and larger. So that's really what would mess up the kidney too, is having a prostate enlargement. Uh, I had one guy and all we did is some simple acupressure. You can actually work on these points with a massage tool. You can work on them and uh, it's interesting what will happen. You'll have, it'll probably be really uh, tight and painful and congested. You do it lightly and you keep working it out. I've had so many people do that and all of a sudden just dump all this excess fluid from their bodies. Um, it's quite dramatic. So that's just a side point. So we got the kidney and then number two, uh, we have blood sugars. So usually when some, someone's hypoglycemic, insulin resistance or a diabetic, they usually have puffiness underneath the eyes just because wherever the sugar goes, the water goes. So they have a lot of water retention in pockets in the ankles, in the hands, uh, in the eyes, I mean underneath the eyes. So what you want to do with if you have blood sugar issues, you want to do three to six ounces of protein with each meal. Don't, don't do a lot, but don't cut it out completely because you need some. Seven cups of vegetables. That's not hard to do, right? You probably need more, but that's a good start. That will increase and help the blood sugars and help uh, insulin regulate itself. And then we need a little healthy fat to allow you to go from one meal to the next so we're not snacking. So that's just, I'll put some links down below if this is your first video and you've never seen the data on how to correct blood sugars, but that would be one cause. As far as the kidneys, the kidneys do well on a lot of vegetables, a little bit of protein, and just so happens, one of the things that are good for the kidney is the kidney bean. What a coincidence, it's shaped like a kidney, all right? So apply this information. All right, guys, so thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.